Greetings from the Redeemed Christian Church of God in Oklahoma City. This is the Open Heavens for December 22nd, 2020. Open Heavens is a daily devotional written by the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, our Father in the Lord, Pastor E. A. Adeboye. We thank the Lord Almighty. We are grateful to Him. We are indeed grateful to this good God who gave us the grace to sleep through the night and wake up to a brand new day. The Lord God Almighty deserves all our thanks and we say thank you Heavenly Father. We are indeed grateful to Him. Even the study of today, we'll still talk about that soon. So let's be thankful and grateful that you and I are seeing another day. And I pray that even this study of today, the Lord God Almighty, through this study, will give us a heart of continual gratitude to the Lord, no matter circumstances, no matter situations, and will learn to be more grateful even through the study of today in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The title for today is The Dangers of Ingratitude. So we can see that we need to be grateful to the Lord at all times and there are dangers associated when one is not grateful. Dangers of ingratitude. Romans chapter 1 verse 21 is the memory verse. Romans chapter 1 verse 21 says, Because that when they knew God, they glorified him not as God. Neither were they thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. We can easily replace that thankfulness with grateful. We can easily say, even from this memory verse, that neither were they thankful. And what happened? Neither were they grateful. We can also use it that way. And because they were not thankful or grateful, they became vain and in their imaginations and their foolish hearts were darkened. We can see the dangers of ingratitude there. When one is not thankful, one is not grateful, the heart becomes darkened and one becomes vain. Judges chapter 15 verse 14 to 19 is the Bible reading where we're going to be seeing another um, story of ungratefulness from the life of Samson. Judges chapter 15 verse 14 to 19 says, when he came to Lehi, the Philistines came shouting against him. Then the Spirit of the Lord came mightily upon him, and the ropes that were on his hands became like flax that it burned with fire, and his bones broke the loose from his hands. He found a fresh jawbone of a donkey, reached out his hand and took it, and killed a thousand men with it. Then Samson said, with the jawbone of a donkey, eaves upon eaves, with the jawbone of a donkey, I have slain a thousand men. And so it was, when he has finished speaking, he, that he threw the jawbone from his hand and called the place Ramat Lehi. Then he became very thirsty, so he cried out to the Lord and said, You have given this great deliverance by the hand of your servants, and now shall I die of thirst and fall into the hands of the uncircumcised? So God split the hollow place that is in Leah, and water came out. And he drank, and his spirit returned, and he revived. Therefore he called its name en Akor, which is in Leah to this day. So in terms of the dangers of ingratitude, we all know what eventually happened to Samson. He was an ungrateful person, and that led to his downfall. And even looking at the Bible verse that we have just read, you know, in the in one of the paragraphs of the devotional of today, our daddy Lord zeroed in on this Bible reading to talk about the ingratitude that um, Samson displayed. This was somebody that the Lord God Almighty gave him the ability to slay a thousand men. But even as our daddy the Lord was saying here, he was not even grateful. He just finished a great exploit. He didn't even say thank you, Lord, for the ability to slay a thousand men with the jawbone of a donkey. What did he say? Even from the Bible reading that we read as in verse 18, it was saying he became testy up to the point that he now had the audacity to ask the Lord Almighty that shall I die of test? This was something that God gave victory for. He didn't even say thank you for the victory. He was already questioning God again to ask him that shall I die of test? Of course, God provided him the water. But you know, 
what we can see from this story is the fact that it was Samson displayed ingratitude so many times and that eventually led to his downfall so we need to be very careful of that and you know talking about something we can also look at the difference between David and Saul you know that the Lord you know asked the Lord a time ago that okay why why is it that King Saul was punished and even David even though David committed even more sins it looks like he was described as a man after his own heart and you know the Lord responded to him that you know he should go and check David danced before the Lord David was grateful to the Lord but he said the Lord told uh, that in the Lord to ask to go and check in the Bible anywhere he found where Saul was grateful you know the example he gave was that he couldn't find anywhere in the Bible where Saul was grateful to the Lord even when he was made king he was not grateful and the explanation and the insight and the revelation the Lord gave at that was the fact that the reason why David succeeded despite his flaws was because of his gratitude to God his worship his thankfulness but the reason why David fell was because of his ingratitude to the Lord Almighty because despite all that God did for him there was no place recorded where he was grateful or where he was thankful and the same thing we have said about even with respect to um, Samson too and from all of this from the examples that we have already given in the Bible we can see that ingratitude there are dangers associated with it it led to the fall of Saul it led to the fall of um, Samson and that is why we as believers need to be careful because another thing we need to be careful about is that we all already know that the Bible says that pride goes before a fall. Pride goes before a fall. And nobody wants to fall. But pride is actually linked to ingratitude. So people that are ungrateful is a pointer to the fact that such people will be also be prideful. And as believers, I'm sure we don't want to fall. And because we don't want to fall, we need to be thankful and grateful to God. Because when we are grateful to God, it, it, just as much as ingratitude is a pointer to pride, it means that gratitude is a pointer to humility. Because and a grateful person will know that every good and perfect gift comes from above. It is not by our power, it is not by our might, it is not by our intellect, it is not by our connections, it is not because we know how to do it. When you have that kind of mindset, it makes one to be humble before the Lord to know that all that we have is just by his grace and his mercy alone but somebody that feels that they, are, they they've done things by themselves there's a tendency that just like in this case of Samson there's a tendency that they will feel that it, they, they have accomplished some things by their power and that will lead to pride so let us humble ourselves before the Lord Almighty acknowledge him in all our ways as we acknowledge him in all our ways it will give us the, the, that mindset of great gratitude to God for all that he's doing for us and that it goes on further to say that this gratitude we are talking about just like we started the devotional of today we need to be grateful to God even in the little things this gratitude that we have been taught about today is not just about being grateful to God when God does some, something big or massive in our lives no even for the little things in life the things that we count as nothing the things that seems mundane we need to be thankful and grateful to God for them. There were several that uh, that the Lord listed here. The fact that you sleep and you wake up, you need to be grateful. The fact that you can walk, the fact that you can talk, the fact that you can wear your clothes by yourself without even needing any help. You know, the fact that you can eat without needing any help. You can eat on your own. The fact that you can use the restroom or the bathroom all by yourself unaided. Those, they might seem mundane. But we need to be grateful for to God for all of those things. You have a sound mind. Ah, we need to be grateful to God for even the seemingly small things in life, not just the big things. And that is why even this gratefulness and this gratitude that we have should be in everything and for everything. So for everything that God does for us, whether big, whether small, whether something that we think we can do naturally or not, let's be grateful. And even in all situations, even when things don't turn us right, when we are facing challenges, 
We are facing situations. We are facing circumstances that are not palatable, that are distressing. Even in those situations, there are still things we can be grateful to God for. So this season, even as we have read today, let's make sure, and even beyond this season, every day of our lives, let us practice gratitude to God for all that He does, for who He has made us to be, and for all that He's yet to do. Let's be grateful and not complain. And may God help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's pray this prayer. Father, we are grateful for all that you are doing for us. Please, Lord, help us never to be ungrateful. Father, no matter the things that have gone our way or have not gone our way, Father, we pray that, Lord, you will give us a heart of gratitude every day of our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. We shall never be ungrateful to you, Lord, O God, in everything and for everything. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Amen. Thank you for watching. And we hope to see you tomorrow by God's grace.